Good afternoon. Welcome to another Facebook Live session. I'm Joel Welch, the president at Western Piedmont Community College, and uh, excited to get to spend a few minutes with you. We're uh, getting on a little bit late today. We had a little bit of technical difficulty there to start with, uh, but a great team here working with me who uh, needs a lot of assistance to get these things up and running sometimes. So, uh, but I definitely appreciate those of you that are taking a few minutes to join in. Really want to uh, have an opportunity this afternoon to uh, share a few thoughts with you. Uh, will not take long, but uh, I'm going to be here to answer some questions. If you have any, uh, submit them through chat, and we'll definitely take a look at those and answer as many as we can. If there's something we cannot answer, uh, then I'll find out and get it back to you. But, um, you know, this afternoon, looking at the weather this week, it's been such a, a beautiful week, and uh, looking to some cooler temperatures this weekend, just a, a great week to be at Western Piedmont Community College, and I hope that uh, as students, all of your classes are going well. For our faculty and staff, we're uh, basically halfway through the semester. We're starting our B-term classes today, which is uh, hard to believe as we've got students that are starting their, uh, an eight-week set of classes that, that are going today. Uh, so uh, we are moving through this semester. So I wanted to give you some updates and um, for today, as I mentioned several weeks ago when we, we started doing these, I'm doing the these sessions through various places on campus. And today I'm excited to be in one of our simulation labs. And uh, you can see a couple of the mannequins here behind me. Uh, these are um, not just uh, simple little dolls, if you will. These are complicated pieces of equipment that our students use to um, work with and learn on and uh, represent some of the state-of-the-art uh, training that exists all across uh, the country, but that we also have right here at Western Piedmont Community College. And uh, this time of year, with everything going on with the pandemic, it's obviously just a important time for our healthcare workers. And we are actively engaged in training and teaching and educating uh, healthcare workers from nurses to med assistant. Uh, to various areas, uh, emergency technicians all across this area. Uh, and as you go out, and if you're being uh, served by a healthcare technician uh, in our area, there's a good chance that you're uh, running into somebody that has come through Western Piedmont Community College. And, you know, as it, it highlights for us how important uh, our health is. And, you know, we've talked about uh, the three W's, wearing your mask, waiting, washing your hands, um, we have a lot of students taking our classes in an online format. We're teaching a lot remotely. Um, we have about a um, little more than 50% of our classes now have a remote component uh, being taught uh, that way. And uh, so as we look at this, we're wanting to do everything we can to help people be safe. And that extends to how we're teaching uh, and the education that we provide. And so uh, if you're interested in a healthcare program, then Western Piedmont is a great place to start, and we would definitely love to, to talk to you. You can uh, go into go to our website, wpcc.edu, uh, and link right over for students. You can link right over how to, to enroll. Uh, so these are some really cool things that are out there. And I wanted to give you just a quick update on where we are uh, for fall uh, with our students. We've had 13 total positive cases for students and only a couple of those have actually been on campus all 13 students have been cleared to return at this point uh, we do have um, a couple of students that chose to withdraw and uh, we're working with all students to try to help you make the decision that is best for you uh, but uh, with it so far uh, we've not had any um, transfer that we know of on site uh, but we have had 13 students total, and they've all recovered at this point and, uh, and have been cleared to come back on campus. Um, so on our website, if you go to our latest COVID-19 uh, news, it's down towards the bottom of the web page, you can link over, and there you'll find a student uh, self-report uh, illness, and it's a form that we ask you to fill out. If you come in contact with someone, uh, we have folks that will reach out to you. You're not going to be punished uh, for your grades. You're not going to uh, bear an academic penalty. Our faculty, our staff are working with you to help you uh, navigate this. But we do ask you 
to fill that out. If you come in contact, if you think you've been exposed, if you're not sure, please fill it out and we'll have folks reach out to you. Uh, but so far, because of our, the things that we are doing, uh, folks are wearing uh, their mask on campus. We are checking temperatures for people who come on campus. We're practicing social distancing. Uh, we've seen a good report so far. Um, that can change, and we want to stay vigilant about our actions and about coming on campus. So again, if you don't feel well, uh, please do not come on campus. Uh, give a call in, and we'll figure out how to work with you and help you with your your academic classes. But don't come on campus if you feel well. If you do not feel well uh, with that. From our employees, uh, we've had since um, August, the beginning of the semester, we've had two positive cases. Uh, everyone is recovered. Uh, we do have currently have two uh, folks in quarantine, uh, one uh, with a suspected exposure, one an unknown exposure, not completely sure, but we're being safe uh, in both of those circumstances and, and not having them on campus. Uh, total since April, we've had five uh, employee cases and all have recovered. So I wanted to give you an update. People ask kind of where we are sometimes or, or trying to figure out how things are going. That's where we are for our our COVID uh, situation. Uh, we are definitely going to continue uh, with our health screenings through all of fall semester. Uh, we are evaluating and making plans right now as far as what that may look like um, for spring. And uh, so we'll be updating that um, for you. I'm checking something technically here. Um, uh, David or Raina, I got the text that it didn't stream. Are we streaming now? So I'm not sure how much went in. Give me just a minute here. I've got a, um, a looking for a feedback. Okay, good, good. So we're we're on uh, with that. Now, in case uh, the first part of it wasn't on, I'm Joel Welch, president at Western Piedmont Community College, and uh, we're having one of those days where we just get to deal with some technical issues. <laughs> so uh, it makes it uh, quite interesting as we uh, go through uh, this, but that's okay. And uh, it's part of life in these times. I'm sure most of you have done some type of uh, virtual meetings, and uh, we just have to kind of adapt and uh, really jump into that. So um, I'm uh, I'm texting back and forth to make sure I have the right things <laughs> here. Uh, with you. So uh, bear with us. We're having a, a good time with it. And, uh, you know, it's uh, one of those things that kind of keeps us um, on our toes. And uh, I appreciate my team here. Uh, we just have some um, fantastic uh, folks that are that are helping work through this. And um, so if you're with us, uh, parts of this uh, coming through uh, have been uh, a little jumpy today, but that's all right. Um, I gave some COVID updates. I think all of that went through. I did want to step back just in case um, this did not pick up, and, and that is that today uh, I'm actually hanging out in our um, one of our simulation labs for med assisting here, and uh, it may look like somebody's uh, laying behind me or sitting over there, but that's some of our uh, simulation equipment that our students use for training. And uh, here at Western Piedmont Community College, uh, we have an excellent health tech program. If you're interested in that, we would love to uh, have you come by and um, talk to us about getting involved. And I know we have a lot of students in there and it's so important in the this day and time. And so as we train and talk and look at, educa at, look at educating uh, health technicians, uh, nursing, med assisting, et cetera, we've got several different programs that fall into this area, uh, emergency technicians. Uh, I wanna say that health is so important. That's one of the reasons that we are continuing uh, to practice our three W's. Uh, we're requiring folks to come through health screenings and we're going to continue that through fall semester. Uh, as I was saying before we jumped into some of the technical things here, um, we are looking at spring semester and spring may be a little bit different uh, as we look forward to see what that's going to look like. Um, but we are evaluating that and uh, if needed, we'll keep our health screenings going. Uh, so uh, gave you that. Uh, another update that I wanted to pass out to folks is we uh, have gotten some funding through the federal government, through the state government, that so far uh, through the pandemic situation here, 
we have dispersed just over $575,000 in aid to our students. Uh, this is aid that is meant to help with the pandemic, uh, to help with the um, challenges that our students faced, incredible challenges to continue their education uh, through the pandemic times. But uh, total so far, and, and there's more actually that we're working on, we have distributed just over $575,000 uh, to our students to assist with addressing the pandemic uh, and the, the COVID situation. So uh, we have not held on to that. We're doing everything we can to help our students get out there and, and really be successful. Now, I also want to say that uh, right now, about 50% of our fall class time uh, is remote. Uh, in some type of form. We have blended and hybrid classes going, so only about 50% of our classes are actually, uh, class time is actually online or on campus right now. And a lot of that has to do with labs and lab work that needs to be done in person. Uh, our health tech programs are meeting in person and we're watching that uh, very carefully. And that's why we're doing the health screenings. Uh, we're doing social distancing on campus, uh, but we're doing everything we can to keep the um, health and safety of our students and our employees uh, top of mind on this. So those are some updates as far as the exposures that we've had so far, what we've got going on for classes. Um, I did mention also we are starting our second eight week B term classes started today. And so for those of you looking towards spring, we are only a couple of weeks now. It's hard to believe, uh, but less than three weeks away from starting our fall or our spring enrollment. November 2nd is when we will open enrollment for spring. Uh, so if you're looking to get into some spring classes, uh, start your planning. Uh, it's a good time over the next uh, three weeks to go ahead and talk to your advisor, faculty member about what classes you need to take, uh, what do you need to sign up for in spring. Uh, we are increasing our, our on campus and face-to-face -face classes uh, for spring uh, because we're hearing from so many students that they they really want to have more of a face to face experience. We do anticipate that we will maintain uh, our social distancing uh, and classes as far as how we handle that in spring, but we're constantly evaluating that. So as things change, I'll be on here uh, and we'll be posting to our website updates uh, so that we can keep up with. And uh, also I wanted to go back and, and repeat one thing just in case it didn't go through, uh, and that is with the students just in case, um, if you do not feel well, please do not come on campus. And two, if you think you may have been exposed, please go to our website down at the bottom. Uh, you'll see a latest COVID-19 info page. And at the, on that page, there's a link where you can complete a student self-report uh, student self-report illness. Um, and so we want that there's a form there and we want to make sure that you do that. We have folks that will reach out to you. Uh, so that we can um, stay in contact and keep uh, our folks safe, keep you safe. That's really what, what we're all about today. Uh, so today, as, as we thought about and I thought about uh, halfway, being halfway through the semester and our health programs, as we highlight those today, getting to sit here in a, in a great lab, uh, one of the things that we do know is we, we talk a lot about physical health, and that's important. Uh, we did a session uh, a few weeks ago on study skills. And what I want to talk about next is really um, related to that, and that's our mental health. We know as we um, talk to students, as we look at national data, that we have so many of you, our students, who are battling uh, mentally. You may feel high levels of anxiety. Uh, you may feel overwhelmed. Uh, you have life coming at you just incredible and you're just under a lot of stress. And I want you to know that we have uh, a great uh, staff here and we want to know where you are so that we can help you. Uh, we have uh, a li uh, some assistance counseling services that we offer to students. Um, and we have a list of partnerships that we work with as far as local agencies that we can refer you to. Uh, so in-house counseling uh, is not a bad thing. If you're feeling overwhelmed and uh, if you're feeling uh, lots of anxiety and you're stressed out and 
um, you know, you're just, it's a struggle uh, with everything from the pandemic, job, family, um, all the, the things that are going on. If you have health issues on top of all of that, these things wear on you mentally. And so don't be afraid to, to get involved and seek counseling. Uh, you don't have to drop out. We uh, have a group here that can help and we want to help. So some of the things that we do is we, we have some brief solution focused counseling services that assist students with daily stressors, um, events that will impact their schoolwork. Uh, I want to give you a, an example from many, many years ago. Uh, I had a, a young lady that was uh, in one of my classes and she came in to talk to me and she just broke down in tears. I mean, it was just the stress and the anxiety was at an incredibly high level. And she said to me, I'm just, I'm just going to drop out. I, I'm, I'm done. I, I can't, I can't handle this. She's a single mother. Um, and the other side of this is, though, she's gotten an internship at a local engineering company and she's doing well. She has an opportunity and she's gotten to our last semester and all of this pressure was on her. And when we talk about solution based counselors, first one, as I tell this story, I am not a counselor. Uh, I am an engineer, which for most folks means that I have no uh, empathy at all. Uh, which I would like to think that I do have some empathy, but uh, sometimes I get wrapped up in too much data. But as I talked to this young lady, uh, I looked at her and I said, you know, you've got a great internship going. They love you. They're going to hire you. One of the great things we can do is we actually could withdraw from one of your classes. You can finish that class next semester. Yeah, it's going to cost you a semester to graduate, which um, may not be the, the perfect solution in this world, but it will allow you to get through. And, you know, talking to her, we worked out a plan. And so we have people here who are counselors who can help you with a solution based. And sometimes it's just simple as reducing the load. Uh, that young lady withdrew from one class. She finished out the semester. She finished that class the next semester and that company did hire her. Uh, they were they were perfectly OK keeping her as an internship. But I say that story also because that situation was unique to her. What worked for her may not work for you. And had she not come and talked to someone, had she not come on campus, and you can do it through the phone, you can do it virtually, we've got some ways set up here uh, to connect you. But had she just withdrew from everything, we might have lost her. And so don't feel so overwhelmed and don't let it get you to the point that you got to feel like you, you've got to give up. Uh, work with us and let us work with you to see if we can find some other options uh, that may help you get through the semester and be successful going forward. Uh, this is something that's very important. For our employees, we do have an employee assistance program also. Uh, and a lot of the same things that I talk about with with students applied employees, we're battling a lot of different things uh, coming in and, and so we want to make sure we take care of you also. So if you need help with more complex issues, anxiety, depression, substance abuse, uh, other mental health conditions, we're not uh, we're not your long term therapist, but we can offer support. Uh, we can work with you and we can give you a referral to an off site camp counselor, um, off campus counselor. We have uh, some partnerships in the community and we can definitely work with you to get a referral uh, because these things are important you you've got to take care of your body health wise important you only have one body you've got one health that's yours uh, mental's part of that and sometimes uh, through uh, our history we have stigmatized folks who uh, were struggling mentally but you know it's normal it is truly normal to um, feel stress and anxiety uh, to nobody's perfect. Everybody at different times have had doubts. And so do not, whatever you do, please um, don't give up. That's probably the biggest thing. Uh, and it's easier to not give up when you have somebody who's there. Uh, I say it often. I say it, I think, in every one of these sessions. We want every student, and that means you, to have your best opportunity for success. And to do that may mean that you need some counseling 
that's OK. Uh, as I look around this simulation lab, um, one of the things that we have here are these um, simulators that are, that are personal. They are amazing um, bodies that can do all kinds of different things. Uh, I'm looking to my right here and um, hooked up. Let's see, I can even show you, I think, here. Um, yeah, there you go. You can see we've got these arms that are just part of a body. But if you look, they've got blood pressure hooked up to them because our students can actually practice taking blood pressure. But a real person, a human, has a mind. And that mind, yours and mine, is also something that needs taken care of. Uh, and we talked about some of the things when we that you can do when we did our study skills, but taking a break, relaxing, but finding someone to talk to. And so we have count, a counselor here. Uh, please reach out to us. We, we've got folks that we want to be able to help. We've got folks that can talk to you. And for serious issues, we're going to refer you to someone uh, and, and really walk through that with you. Um, we're also offering this year, 2021, a student assistance program. And what this does is it provides students with access to counseling and student life wellness resources. This is some uh, funding that we've gotten through the state. And it's the access there is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, you can receive three free counseling sessions per issue with an unlimited number of issues during the academic year. So again, uh, we've got some free resources. This is something that's come through the CARES Act funding and through some state funding. Uh, that allows us to do this and we want to make sure you're aware of this so all these things that i've talked about reach out to our counselor we've got a solution based short term uh, for something long term more serious complex issues we'll give you a referral and then for our um, students we have our student assistance program just like the employee assistance program where you can get three sessions per issue uh, and you may have multiple issues these and it's open 24 7. now you can find out more information about this on our web um, Western Piedmont Community College Counseling website. Go to our website and link to that. Or you can call Donovan Kirby, our college counselor, for additional information. Uh, so we definitely want you to be reaching out and taking care of yourself. And I think that's something that we cannot stress enough during this time. Stress uh, in some ways is a part of life, but the length of time that we've been living in this pandemic, the length of time of an academic semester creates unique challenges. And so don't feel like you're enough, alone. Don't feel like that you're more broken than anybody else. Don't feel like that you're, um, you know, well, I'm just different and unique and nobody else is struggling like I am. That's not true. People are struggling. They may not have the exact same struggles that you are because you're a unique individual and you matter but they struggle. All of us have times where we need help and assistance. Don't be afraid to reach out. Let us here at the college work with you. We want you to have your best opportunity for success. So those are the, the big thing that I wanted to hit today. You know, really excited that we're approaching our registration for spring. I encourage you, please go talk to a, uh, an advisor or a faculty member. Make sure you've got your classes lined up. So November 2nd, you're ready to jump in and register. If you're struggling with some mental challenges right now, just pressures, please reach out to our counselor, reach out through our student assistance program. You find that online uh, and just generally take care of yourself. Uh, as always, I'm Joel Welch. I'm the president. Um, email me jwelch at wpcc.edu. Give me a call. Uh, my phone number is on the website and I definitely uh, would love to talk to you. Stop by my office. Um, if it's something really important, make an appointment. The only reason I ask anybody to make an appointment is because I'm not in my office all the time. And uh, if you want to drop by, that's great. If I'm there, I'm happy to sit down and talk to you uh, and have a discussion uh, with it. So don't think we've had any questions come in today. Uh, and uh, I don't know whether that's good or bad. Uh, maybe we're answering all our questions on our website and through our faculty and staff because we have a great awesome faculty and staff out there and they're definitely looking forward to uh, working with you. So um, I'm going to sign off here in just a minute. What I would ask you to do, please remember um, wear a face covering, social distance, wash your hands. Uh, we go through our health screening checks when you come on campus and if you don't feel good, stay home. Uh, take care of yourself. 
I hope you have a great rest of the week. I hope that I get to see you around campus at some point in a safe manner. Uh, and I look forward to uh, seeing more and more students be successful at Western Piedmont Community College. Thank you.